डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम वेलकमिंग यू टू ऑल टू डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन चैतन्य स्टूडियो फॉर द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज फॉर द कोर्स बी बी ए रेगुलर इन दैट ब्लॉक नंबर फोर यूनिट नंबर टू फिनेंशियल प्लानिंग द ब्लॉक फोर कंटेनिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इन्वेस्टमेंट एनालिसिस एंड द फिनेंशियल प्लानिंग इन दैट वी ऑलरेडी हैड डिस्कशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू इन्वेस्टमेंट एनालिसिस और इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन नाउ लेट्स मूव मूव टू द यूनिट नंबर टू फॉर द फिनेंशियल प्लानिंग नंबर वन before we start our session let us discuss the what are the different learning objectives while we discussing this financial planning topic or we can say the unit called the financial planning one after learning this unit my dear friends you will be understand and and we can say that you will be able to understand that the explaining the what you mean by the financial planning then you realize the importance of financial planning then discuss the different financial planning process steps to be taken up with the financial planning then describe the scope of financial planning and the reason why the financial planning is necessary in today's era so let us begin our session with the introduction point or introduction topic today the everybody should have his or her financial plan which will give a road map for the securing your future according to the magi of the financial the financial planning is a process of money management that may include any or all of the several strategies including the budgeting tax planning insurance retirement and estate planning and invest investment strategies are there in the effective financial planning all elements are the coordinated with the aim of budgeting protecting and maximizing the net worth in that we can say let's take an a simple example my dear friends that if you want to purchase a car after 5 years or after 2 years that on that you have to make in a saving with respect to particular that year so ultimately the financial planning is give a road map for securing a future with different aspect that is budgeting protecting maximizing the net worth and etc the derivatives are the most modern financial instruments in hedging risk the individual and firms who wish to avoid or reduce the risk can deal with the others who are willing to accept the risk for the price a common place where such a transaction take place is called the derivative market now what are the different advantages for the financial planning first it upgrading your living that is your standard of living will be upgraded if your financial position is well and your planning is efficient if in an efficient manner then it's definitely you upgrade your living say for example in a in a starting or early year or in early stage you took a fixed lunch or a fixed dinner for a particular restaurant but after your financial planning is efficient in manner then you go for the a la carte per particular uh, restaurant also so this is ultimately upgrading your living then money management the management with respect to money is a most important aspect with respect to the financial planning so ultimately your money management is a uh, good in that way then the consumption securing the future and building the wealth if you are going with the money management then definitely you consume something in a precise manner which is ultimately securing your future and build a wealth that means ultimately you are in the phase of wealth management or we can say the maximization of wealth rather the considered the profit maximization topic now let us discuss the first point that is upgrade upgraded living a person can maintaining the income and expenditure if he knows his financial plan 
due to increase in income and consumption pattern the standard of living may be increases second is money management any income can be either saved for the future purpose or consumed for the current needs of financial planning which help in guiding the person when to invest and when to consume this is most important point my dear friends then consumption the consumption includes spending money on the basis of the necessities like food shelter and clothing it also include buying a luxurious and semi luxurious products normally the average propensity to consume that is nothing but your average the inclination of the individual to spend uh, money on a income of a income on the current needs than to save for the future needs so ultimately that it decrease with the income increase this results is in increasing the living or we can say the increasing in the saving and so the financial planning help to the person in checking out of the plan for the future that is a simple and fundamental rule if you earn more then definitely you spent on that particular way but if you earn more and you save more with respect to your earning and you spent less as that point of time you build your wealth and you secure your future fourth point is securing the future as we have been in the above different points that the propensity to consume decrease when the income increase resulting into the increasing saving this increased saving is invested in the different financial and real assets the idea is to give the higher return on this investment to safeguard for the increasing price that is inflation and from the rainy days that means ke if you are not spending much money on different sources and you invest that money for a future aspect at that point of time when the inflation occurred over that point of time at that point of time you will be get a higher profit on it so these are the different approaches when the your financial planning has to be done the fifth point is building a wealth the financial planning helps a person to create a plan for a future by investing in asset and keeping the current income intact there are many luxurious products like car which in a long term may not give any return however it provide the convenience to the person there is a another asset like real estate or gold which give the higher returns to the person by the capital appreciation so here you have the different approaches if you earn more well and good not go for the spending of money but invest that money in a efficient manner if you are investing that money in a car then definitely it will be not in return in a future uh, return in a future in a great way but if you evaluate it in a, and the investing in a real estate or a gold or silver or the different share markets at that point of time definitely my dear friends you will be get the higher money over it so these are the different approaches when the capital appreciations are there and by having the right mix of such asset an individual can build a wealth over the time with the help of proper financial planning so this is the most important advantages are there that you have the if you have the in a appropriate financial planning at that point of time my dear friends you build your wealth and you are the safest person ever in whole particular inflation period or any 
crucial financial position of that particular country or particular business or industry or company or whatever are there. So, here again the advantages are only helpful to you when you have the efficient decision making process. So, now the question is sir what are what are the different needs for financial planning? So, here my dear friends the different needs of financial planning, this ultimately talks about the investment decisions. It majorly affects, I can say that with respect to financial product, then PP measurement, offshore portfolios onshore portfolios, pension portfolios, ICAs are there, savings investments are there, etcetera. So, the need is for risk sensitivity, future cash flows, taxes and trusts, pre-retirement planning, post-retirement planning, charges and flexibility, then protection planning or we can say the production planning with respect to the different aspects of the business, then long term care funds are needed over there, then current saving and assets and income and expenditure. So, these are the different needs <coughs> for the financial planning with respect to your financial product or we can say the portfolio analysis that is onshore or offshore an analysis or portfolio analysis, then investment decisions are there, portfolio pension portfolios are there. So, these are the different needs which we require the financial planning in efficient manner. See the risk sensitivity is ultimately it is talk about your risk and return analysis and how you evaluate it in a efficient manner whether this risk is particularly enhancing with that particular return or not. Then future cash flow is definitely depend on your the particular income and expense measure, measurement and the taxation policies are there. Tax and trust as also initialing on that particular taxes are there whether this tax are particularly for the that particular income which will be evaluated and excluded or not. Then the pre-retirement and post-retirement planning there are the two different approaches are there whether you uh, first of all you have to evaluate ke which age you have to retire. So, ultimately you plan accordingly if you uh, take a decision for the retiring at the age of 40 or 50 years. So, then you have to evaluate and you, you plan your financial positions over that on a retirement basis the before 40 and after the 40. So, ultimately these are the different approaches where the financial planning is most efficient and it will be needed in a future. Then the charges and flexibilities are then the charges and flexibilities are the different approaches where the, the each financial position or each financial uh, annual system or annual taxation or whatever are that the different charges and flexibilities are also, also there. Then the protection planning that the protection of a life also the mediclaim and different positions are also there long term care needed and current saving and assets and income and expenditure. Ultimately, you have to evaluate your current savings and investment with respect to your financial planning and ultimately it is always depend on your income and expenditure of present as well as for the future years. So, these are the different needs for the financial planning. The every individual is difficult or we can say the different in a manner in his educational background, age, gender, attitude, values and basis of needs. So, needs are different based on the different factors. Say for example, my needs are different, your needs are different, your father's and your mother's are needs are different, the country needs are different. So, the needs are always depend on a particular person. So, ultimately here we differentiate with the different factors for the, that particular needs can be done first is real estate planning. Now, think about if you are investing a 1 lakh rupees in a car, then how much you revert or retain earnings are there? There is a no retain earnings. 
वैल्यू विल बी डिक्रीजिंग नॉट इंक्रीजिंग बट ऑन सेम बेस इफ यू इन्वेस्ट योर मनी इन रियल एस्टेट प्लानिंग और इन अ शेयर मार्केट और एनी डिफरेंट मैनर वेर द कैपिटल एप्रिशिएशन आर देर एंड इट विल बी द वैल्यू विल बी इंक्रीजिंग देन then my dear friend answer is that you earn more with respect to it with respect to your capital appreciation so here the first factor affecting to that that is real estate planning then credit management if you took a loan from a bank or from a friend or whatever are that or in a business you you define or dif discussing with the that particular credit management at that point of time my my dear friends your credit policy is appropriate and efficient manner at that point of time you earn more and you spend less then tax management is also affecting that factor that you have to evaluate it with respect to tax purpose also then managing the cash and savings your current cash is how much and savings are how much then health and life insurance is also there then investing in uh, equities and the fixed income securities then mutual fund investment contingency retirement planning marriage buying a luxurious and domestic products so these are the different factors which needed in each and every person in his or her life so first of all you have to take a particular step with respect to it and you evaluate and you rationing it with respect to how it will be build up in a particular area is it clear my dear friends so these are the different factors over there that each and every factors and each and every needs are the different from a person to person the next topic is steps or the process of financial planning the first step is to determine your current financial situation that means ke how much you earn and how much you spent if your earnings are less then definitely you can't achieve your goal in a efficient manner but when your goal is a big and at that point of time your income will be increasing day by day day by day day by day then definitely you achieve your goal in efficient manner so step number 1 is that is determination of current financial position or situation second is develop your financial goals now question is my dear friend your goal is always depend on your income and i can say that your income is depend on your goal there are the two different sentences are there the normal people are going for the step by step process but my suggestion is to you that define your goal and accordingly you work hard and make your current financial situation is more efficient that you go for the future you are beyond your goal so third point is identify the alternative course of action that means ke you have the different situation different alternatives are that 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 which can be the used in efficient manner then fourth is evaluate the alternatives that is considered of the life situation personal value then economics factors assets then uh, risk and return time value of money etc so you have to evaluate the different alternatives where you you have the suggestion and where you have the stand up with that particular alternatives and which are the different approaches are there fifth is create and implement your financial action plan now you have to create it Okay, whether this financial plan is appropriate or not, then review and revise your financial plan. So these are the different 
or we can say the steps or process of financial planning where you took a particular and based financial decision over it so reevaluate re it with the step number 1 determine the current financial situation second is develop your financial goals third is identify the different alternatives then fourth is evaluate the alternatives available are there with respect to your time value of money risk and return basis and etc that create and implement your financial action plan then review and revise your financial plan so ultimately this is the step or process of financial planning so while we are taking up the first step is important for the financial planning is to have the clear picture of your goal and finalize those goals the factors like expected age of retirement income expected after the retirement amount of income uh, you would like to keep for your surviving better half etc can help to define your goal more and clearly second step involves the gathering as much information as possible that means the information should pertaining the insurance policies tax returns wills trust etc so the more information is better will your for the financial planning once you have adequate information explore and process that inf uh, that information with the appropriate advisors may be consulted for the same and took and take a good decision over it then adopting a good all inclusive financial plan can help you meet your goal more easily as it provided provides you with the appropriate strategies and examples once the plan has been decided the next important step is to execute that plan the plan can be executed by using the strategies which you are comfortable with and finally the plan must be monitored and altered periodically with the changing the condition so ultimately these all are the different positions are that which can be evaluated in that particular manner so it will be the good for it now next step is that is types of planning the following are the different types of planning according to his or her requirement at the different stage of life first is asset acquisition planning asset acquisition planning that is ultimately it's talk about your real estate planning at which age you require your assets and accordingly you have to plan it then liability and insurance planning the liability and ins insurance planning is just like that at which stage you avail the insurance with respect to health medi claim etc then saving and investment planning the saving and investment planning is ultimately for the all the people who earn at a early stage or a, in a later stage they have to maintain and they have to adequate this particular plan in your life that is saving and investment planning then employee benefit planning those who are uh, employed somewhere then definitely they define and uh, they define it the employees benefit planning then tax planning whatever you earn in a, by the way of salary or uh, in a profit or profession that you must take on a tax planning over it and then the retirement and estate planning that after retirement how much you how much you will be uh, how much money you required and uh, how much uh, the different and how many assets are there so it will be defined on that particular planning that is retirement and estate planning now let us discuss the scope of financial planning there are the different areas are that in a scope of financial planning in that the first area is central and state government so ultimately i can say that the central and state government are the factors which are affecting which to the different scope and uh, scope of that financial planning 
the different tax policies then regulatory environments then businesses are there consumer preferences macroeconomic factor business cycle change in the price and interest rates so these are the different areas which are cover up under the scope of financial planning and this and 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 beyond this you can't go and with respect to it you evaluate your financial planning and make it happen in a good way so let's sum up with this uh, particular unit in this unit we discuss about the different approaches of financial planning scope need process the meaning of financial planning different alternatives of financial planning etc so which will be give the basic idea with respect to financial planning whether it will be good for your health that means your health as well as the wealth or not after evaluating it you have to evaluate yourself by defining or describing this two particular long question first is explaining the financial planning process with all the steps in a detail then the different advantages of financial planning after that you evaluate yourself with the multiple choice question first is dash the include the spend spending money on the basis the necessities like food shelter and clothing that is your consumption any dash the process should be systematic result oriented and i to show that is obviously the financial planning which planning helps to a person to create a plan for a future by investing in assets and keeping the current income intact that is your financial planning so after evaluating this if you read more then you must uh, took up particular book of icfi universities for a personal financial planning so hope you learn well in this unit hope you enjoy this unit in a efficient manner hope you understand the what are the different aspects of financial planning steps process different advantages are there and you you determine yourself with respect to your financial planning for a good future so hope you enjoy it and understand the different approaches are there thank you very much my dear student we will meet in a next session with a next topic hope you enjoy it thank you very much sadhya yahan par ma